Hey YouTube, this is our review of The Walking Dead, which is what we will all be after this after the 50th year of Halloween Horror Nights with The Walking Dead because <laughs> it just won't go away. Year for The Walking Dead. 4 years in a row. Now I forgot to check when we were there. Um, was it the most was it the longest line or the longest wait? Um like it has been. I I we I didn't have a whole lot of time to like really check out the the line times, but um, it it seemed like, and I might be wrong, but it seemed like Freddy versus Jason was actually uh, edging it out, um, and it looked like the rest of the the line times were sort of uh, more even. The difference this year is we finally got the express pass, so I guess we didn't have to look at the line the uh, the wait times like we used to. No. Um, and I did. I, I made a point to check. I, I looked at that board where it shows like the wait times for everything, and, and like everything was pretty even except for Freddy versus Jason, which I thought was odd. It and, was even a long line for that one. We had the express pass. Yeah. So um. You, you know, like uh, I don't know quite what that means, but um, I would suspect it's still one of the busier houses in the park. I would still suspect that. Um. Because Walking Dead does bring in the crowds. It's one of the biggest shows on TV. So, this time, it's location H, which is the exact same location as 2013's No Safe Haven. It's not the biggest house in the park this year. That's, nope. that's uh, 25 Years of Monsters of Mayhem, um, which is where Universal put all, all their cards this year. Yeah, it's, it's cool. Yes, yeah, we, we enjoyed that part. Um, and but uh, it's a continuation like all these houses are a series so it's a, a sequel to last year's walking dead end of the line for you walking dead fans it has scenes uh, or rooms that are dedicated to scenes from um the latest season of the walking dead on amc so um yeah if you're we don't watch the show but we still think it's cool um you, you you'll be able to recognize scenes that happened last season because uh, the new season's happening right now, I believe. Oh. Or no, in October. October. Oh, soon. Yeah, soon. But, um, so uh, it's called uh, The Living and the Dead because not only do you have to deal with the walkers, now you've got to deal with the other humans. So uh, why don't we get in heavy spoilers and explain the concept of the house. All right. All right. So um, last year, for uh, end of the line, the goal was to get to Terminus, which you do at the end of the house. Yeah. And just like uh, No Safe Haven, where you, you know, end at the prison, and in uh, end of the line, you start at the prison, now you start at Terminus, but Terminus is in ruins. Mm -hmm. um, and so you're trying to escape from Terminus, and you know the, the humans are killing other humans, and uh, that's actually one of the first things you see, is like, um, there's a famous uh, scene where somebody's get their throat slit over a trough and that's like one of the first things you see you see like the butcher like slit slit this dude's throat and he's like tied up over a trough and yeah um but i mean look even as a non-fan of the of the show i saw some really really cool things in this house yeah you go through a graveyard um you go through a forest and the forest gets this really neat red glow yeah like uh it, it was like perfect timing when I walked in, like, you know, I'm going through that curtain and the red glow like sprains up. I was like, whoa, that's cool. It's interesting that, uh, I guess there's to have some tie in with uh, zombies coming out of trucks. Oh, why. that that's from the latest season. Um, what they were doing in Terminus is they would have trucks set up and they would open them and walkers would pour into them, you know, like, like looking for, you know, humans to feast on and they would close the door and kill the walkers. Mm -hmm. And that was the food bank. Um, so that they were feeding people, you know, like walker meat. Um, and things go haywire with that. I, I know enough that that's what happened. I don't know exactly what happened with the food bank. I just know you go through the food bank, you see piles of, you know, uh, no longer animated walkers. Mm -hmm. And um, there's like one walker, like in, in a, like a to, uh, a, like a thin of water um, sloshing around and yeah. um, I only know bits about the show but I, I know that's that's what they were doing 
It's interesting. You exit the house by walking into one of the uh, containers. Yeah. One of the trucks, <laughs> one of the trailers, that is. Yeah. And so. It's that funky disco. I mean, uh, techno. Dubstep. Dubstep. Yeah. And uh, I I had fun with that because yeah, you're going through there and there's this dubstep playing. I just I just danced my way through the room. And the staff member kind of got into it a little too. <laughs> yeah. So once again, four years of this thing, and. Uh, Five, maybe? I don't know. It's I'm on, sure. I'm sure it's, it's going to be. On the survey asking if you want it, and I, I said no, 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 <laughs> and they're probably going to do it anyway. I, 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 I maintain until the walking season is, is, I mean, the walking dead is wrapped, and, you know, the, you know, the, the show's not going to make any more seasons, that, that's when um, they'll stop doing walking dead. Um, but I mean, Halloween Horror Nights, you know, I think even they're a little sick of it because Jack makes a joke about it in his show, but um, it does bring in the crowds. So, you know, maybe Halloween Horror Nights is like, well, what, let, let's ask the fans, what do they want, you know? Yeah. So thanks again for watching and subscribe if you haven't. And check out our other videos from Halloween Horror Nights 25 in Orlando, Florida, as I meant to say. Orlando, Universal Orlando Resorts in Florida. Mm -hmm. but, so, thanks for watching.